Today on DBF, we're going to show you how I changed this glass on this 2012 E450 shuttle bus. So let's show you how I did it. All right, so when I got the bus, you can see that we have a door there, and then this door over here is missing. It's not actually missing. It was already taken off because the glass on the door was broken. And the other thing you should be able to notice is that the mechanism that opens and closes the door and the handle over there has been taken off. I took that off to fix an air conditioning issue that we're having over here. Uh, but if you're trying just to replace the glass in this door right here, you do not have to take this off again I took that off to get to the air conditioning stuff down there mm. alright so in order to remove the door to fix the glass the first thing you're gonna want to do is to come down here to the left side where's the pivot you're gonna find this bolt it's gonna be in the bottom and it's gonna pop through uh, it, and it screws right into the bottom of the door there so you're literally just gonna unscrew that pull that out that's gonna take the bottom pivot point of that door out and then you're going to come in and you have to take the top pivot point out. To do that, you're going to come in here. And up on the top, you're going to turn and push this. Turn and press that one. It loosens the panel up. Once the panel is out, you'll be able to see the other mechanism that you actually have to get off. So now what we have to do is inside of here, you have to unloosen that bolt right there. And that bolt, once that's loosened up, is going to allow this portion of it, if I can do this, it's going to cause this to pop out. And when that pops out, that's going to release the door and allow it to go and actually come out and slide right out for you. All right, so there's the door that I placed the glass back in temporarily on. But let me point out one thing here real quick. That right there is where that first bolt that we showed you just previously that's where that screws into. So that's the bottom pivot point for uh, this door. All right, so in order to get this thing to come apart, the first thing you have to do is in each one of the corners, there's one of those bolts. Uh, it's a square drive. You just have to unscrew it, which takes that clip out, which helps keep the molding from, from coming apart. There's another one over here. Of course, I've already taken it out. Uh, but there's going to be another one there. So you're going to take those four out, one on each corner. So now that you've removed the bolts that are on each one of these corners, then what you have to do is peel this back. And all it takes is just pull this apart, and it literally just relatively easily just pulls out. So we're now going to do the same process to the opposite side. All we're going to do is just peel this out. So the next piece of molding that needs to come out is this piece of molding here. And what that does is part of this molding lips onto this right here. And then the bottom part of the molding actually lips onto the top part of the glass. Now I've already removed the glass. I just placed it there just to give it for example to show you how we're doing this. But basically what's going to happen is you're just going to pull this back and it should come right off. And then this piece of molding will come out. Now, if you can't pull it out, you can always slide it out. When I pulled this apart the first time, I literally slid it off like that. And this groove right here is the groove where the window, top of the window sits and goes into there. And this part here, as you can see from the end of it, this part sits on the metal and this part actually sits on the window, which makes that seal. So the next piece has got to come off are all these gaskets they go all the way around the door, all the way around. And they come off relatively easily. Basically, you're just going to peel them back. And they literally just slide out. All right, so now that all the gaskets are out, and what I did is I just placed them over there exactly how they came out. The next thing we have to do is actually get the glass off of the frame. And like I had stated before, if you take a look at the bottom of this, I originally thought that, that was a seal, but it's not. It's actually the adhesive that attaches the glass to the frame. And so to get that off, it's stuck on there pretty well. I had to use a 
um, a chisel and put a hammer underneath it to slide it off. And I had to do that all the way around. Okay, so now that everything has been off and notice down here, we have a, a little bit of corrosion that's happening there. And in order to get this gasket back on that's here, what we have to do is actually slide it in through here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of sandpaper and clean this up a little bit. So now that I've spent some time cleaning up this area here, getting it ready for some paint, we're just gonna hit it with some, uh, some Rust-Oleum to make that uh, look a little bit better so it doesn't corrode anymore. Okay, so now that our paint has dried, it's time to put our first gasket back on. And if you take a look at it, there's a little, little lip right here. That lip right there actually goes in that bottom space right there. And the easiest way to put that on, and the other thing you need to know is the top of your gasket has little grooves to it, it little high spots. That's the, that's the part that goes up. And so you're just gonna take it and push it at an angle like this then slide it back in and then it looks like there's a little bit of a space here and you're going to slide that as far over as you can and then just continue to do that by taking it from the bottom and rolling it back up onto the frame and then when you get to this side slide that all the way over and then slide this in now that we have all of this seal on, it's time to put the final seal on here at the top. And the way this goes on is this area right here is where the window goes. And this is uh, sits on top of the window. And this sits, that part right there sits on the frame itself right on here. So what I'm going to do is just going to slide this on just like that. We'll just slide it down. All right, so now that that seal is in there all nice and tight, we're ready to go. So here's the game plan, because right now we have to put uh, the, the adhesive on that's going to attach the window to the frame. And so the plan is, I'm gonna put a bead of sealer, not sealer, but adhesive in through here. And then I'm going to put a bead right along this edge all the way down. So it's got about the center of the space between where it was and the, and the seal. And I'm going to push it this way into the end, square it up to make sure that the window is even on it. So you're probably wondering where I purchased the glass for the door. And originally I started looking at glass shops, but their price was a little bit too high and they hunted, they had to hunt it out anyway. So I actually realized that on the inside of the driver's door, there actually was the listing of the manufacturer. So I called them and they said, yeah, we could sell it to you. It cost me about 200 bucks and that included some of the molding also. So once the window is installed, I did decide on using some clamps just to help hold that window in place until the adhesive dried and it also allowed that adhesive to push out the side so I could cut it off later. Okay, so I've let it set overnight to allow the glue or adhesive to uh, set up the best that it can as I take a look at it and press on it. Uh, it's pretty much set up. All right, so in order to install the gasket that has to slide in here and go all the way down, you're going to want to make sure that this has a little bit of WD-40 on it. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, just a little bit on the top and the bottom, and that's going to allow that to slide through a little bit easier. All right, so in order to prevent these seals from sliding down the door, 
they have these clips to them. And if you notice, these clips have a little bit of a, a top to them right there. It's got a little edge to it. And so the way it's designed is that that little piece right there is designed to go in that hole. And it goes in like this. When you slide it in, it's a friction fit. And it friction fits against the, the rubber. And when you push it all the way in, it the rubber can't slide down now because it's caught on that piece. And then you have your square drive screw bolt, so to speak, goes in this hole here and then gets tightened down. You're gonna do one here, one on the opposite side over there, and two on the bottom. Okay, in order to reinstall the door, you're gonna to have to do some prep work. So this device here has to be out of that hole there before you can do anything because the top of the door has to go through that hole right there. And then the bottom of the door has to go through that hole down there. So that corner of the door, which has the threads on it, has to line up with this hole so you can put this bolt back in it. And the easiest way to do that is to make sure the door runs out this way so the door is open. And you're gonna to wanna to get on your side like this so you can see where this is in, in relationship to the threads on the bottom of the, uh, of the door. So let's get that done. We'll show you how to do that. Okay, to get this in, you're gonna take that and line it up with that hole in the top. You can see it, it's kind of dark, but there's a hole there. You're gonna get that lined up and the door is gonna be facing out like that. Okay, now that the door is semi-installed, you're gonna lift it up and you're gonna see this hole right there. You're gonna take the bolt push it through the bottom then you got to line the door up the best you can so you can get it and then start threading it okay in order to install this what you're going to want to do is to make sure that this plate right here rests on that switch that's what turns the light on and off when the door opens or closes and I want to keep that intact for now so uh, that are, that's our first thing that we have to do but you're also going to want to make sure that the doors are closed to get this thing so it works properly. We want to make sure that this spins into place. There we go. All right, so now the door is closed and it's resting on that pin. So now we're gonna come over to this side and this is where the hard part happens. You gotta get the bottom of this thing that has a hexagonal thing on it lined up with the one that's in there and make sure it's still on that button over there all right so now in order to do this I'm probably gonna have to move this door in and out say this door the door we're trying to install to get it to line up while keeping the door closed at the same time and, oh look at that there it goes all right, so now this is closed, and what we have to do is to get the height component correct, is we have this uh, bolt with, with a washer and two nuts on it that screws into the top of that. So we're just gonna screw that in. Okay, so once this bolt is put all the way in tight, these two nuts are the ones that hold the door up and down based on the height that you want. And when I got here, those two nuts were tightened together, so I loosened the top one, I put a wrench on the bottom one and loosened this one, and now that's loose and I raised those both up. So there's some play in the door up, but no play down. The door is actually too low. So what I wanna do is to play with that, I'm going to lift the door up with my left hand, and I'm gonna tighten those down to get that to the height that we want for our door. So this is just like, a, you kind of got to play with it to get it to be right. So I'm lifting the door up and I'm tightening that nut. I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm not sure where. All right, so that moved that a little bit. And what we're going to do is go down to the bottom of the door and check to see exactly where we're at. And as you can see, we don't have enough space there because this part right here is actually still riding on the 
on the step. We're going to go back and remove, uh, keep moving that back up. All right, so I got to go up about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to lift it up about an eighth of an inch, tighten this down. And we're going to go back down and check. So that's about the gap that I want. The brushes are rubbing against the plastic. Uh, looks like it's going to be pretty good. So the only really way to test to see if it's going to be good over here is to close the door. So I'm going to close the door now. All right, so now what we want to do is we're going to check what this looks like here. As you can see here, uh, it actually looks like it's going to be really pretty good. So now that the door is adjusted to the proper height, I'm going to take this nut, put a wrench on the top, wrench on the bottom, tighten those two together so it stays where it's supposed to be. And then what I'm going to do is take that nut right there and I'm going to tighten this down so it stays where it's supposed to be. And those, once those are tightened, that door is not going anywhere. All right, so the only thing left to do now to install this door is to put the closer back on, but I can't really do that until I fix the air conditioning issue, which is going to happen very shortly. But if we take a look at it, what it looks like on the outside as we close this, that's going to close nice and tight. So that's how you change the glass and reinstall uh, a bifold door on a shuttle bus.